Now, Group G, a team A like Atletico Madrid and Porto, is in it, St. Petersburg and Austria Vienna. Uh, the bookies have it right here, have the Madrid, or Atletico Madrid and Porto, the two teams to get it at. Yeah, they have, and I mean, it's it's Atletico Madrid 11 to 10, Porto 2 to 1, and Zenit St. Petersburg 3 to 1. Now, there's not an awful lot to choose between Porto, the Portuguese champions, and Zenit St. Petersburg. Zenit St. Petersburg have got a lot of technical players, a lot of quality players, but they don't always get it right uh, on, the, on the day. Porto, I would go with Porto as the second favourites, but Atletico Madrid will top that group and they'll go a long way. That's the team that beat Real Madrid in the cup final uh, and uh, they've got, all right, they lost Fal- uh, the Falcao, the, the centre forward, um, the Colombian hitman, but they're playing really good football. They're a well-balanced team. The manager, Simeone, knows what it's all about. <laughs> good character, he, he's a character and a half. <laughs> they play in his own likeness. Uh-huh. He gives nothing away. 100% commitment. And they'll they'll do really well in the competition. Top eight. I fi- I've got them for the final eight. And they actually put it to Barcelona too in, at the start of the season, Did you know, and, and basically the Super Cup as they call it, you know what I mean, you know, at the start of the season. Yeah, the and, Super and Cup, they, they, yeah. They, both legs, they were brilliant. I thought they were the best side for 65, 70 min- minutes when they were at home and they were winning 1-0 and they didn't capitalise on that. The cost of the centre forward is a, a character. He could be one that features, you know, mm-hmm. for goals in the uh, in the Champions League and I don't know what odds he is, but he would be worth a wee bet. He, you'll get good odds on him, 25, maybe 30 to 1, something like that. So uh, the cost is one that I would look out for. Definitely going to have a good season.